Well, if she runs, she may have a few problems. Uh, of the 535 lawmakers on D.C., uh, Tucker, she's the only one, to my knowledge, who's written a letter to Fidel Castro urging him not to send back a woman uh, who murdered a New Jersey state trooper, escaped, fled to Cuba. Congress passed a resolution urging Castro to return her. She wrote a letter to Castro. Uh, she's a, the, the woman who escaped is a former Black Panther. She likened her to a freedom fighter, accused her of being a victim of the criminal justice system, and urged Castro not to return her to America. The woman, uh, Joanne Chesimar, remains uh, at the top of New Jersey's most wanted list, mm. and Maxine Waters urged Castro not to send her back. That's point one. Second one is she falsely accused the CIA of basically fomenting the crack cocaine epidemic in the 80s yeah. and the 90s in the inner city, uh, a argument that's been debunked by the Washington Post, the New York Times, and the LA Times. And of course, she had a meeting with uh, the then Secretary of Treasury, urging him during the financial meltdown to bail out minority-owned banks without informing him that she and her husband had a financial interest in one of said minority banks, for which she was investigated by the House for ethics violation, played the race card. The uh, violation, therefore, went supernova. It is one of the reasons, Tucker, why one of the left-wing groups, uh, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics, constantly labels her as one of the most corrupt politicians on, in Washington, D.C.